Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping back by the channel, Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we get down and we talk about everything celebrity news-wise. Okay, and if we want to put in some everyday, everyday Joe Blow, Blue Jill, uh, humanitarian type pieces, we'll do that too. But we're going to be focusing again on the Wendy Williams show. Now, page six is reporting that she is going to be out for the rest of November. And I'm like, okay, enough is enough, Wendy. Just take the whole year off and have the holidays to yourself. And sometime in February, make an announcement that you're just going to let the show go. And you're going to go on into the sunset and live your glory years out without doing any more celebrity gossip. Because... We know you still got a lot you're dealing with. You probably still grieving your mother, the loss of her, the loss of your marriage, and probably a lot of other things. We don't know that you're using other things to try to keep you unaware of what you're going through. So, honey, the panel is not going to work. Very boring very boring so we know that's not it's not a format on what wendy built her channel on or her tv show on and quite frankly nobody is going to do it like wendy so if they are expecting all of these celebrity hosts to come in trying to make it seem like a view or the talk or the real type of uh panel showing it's not going to work. Child, now they talking about they want to bring Judge, well, Jerry Springer up in here. That's Judge Judy's husband, too. And she got her own show that she didn't invite her previous bailer of 25 years on Judge Judy. She didn't invite him to come over to the new show with her. Child. That's another whole video to be talking about. Okay, when we have time. I might do it. I'm not really sure. But, you know, we had Whitney coming. That's laid over to the left. We had Lisa Remy over there. And I think that's Bevy Smith. And I don't know who that guy is. But it's been horrible. The only time that I favored the show was really when Sherry Shepard was doing it. Now, she did her thing because she's a comedian. And I don't think Nick did a bad job when he had subbed in for her. But I think it was uh, um, some questions there on whether he would take on, over her show or would he get a show of his own and come on before or after her. And from what I hear, his show is not faring real well either. Okay, but he's not really a gossip type person. You got, Like I said, you got to have it in you to want to talk about people in unflattering ways. You know, breaking their tea that they necessarily didn't want shown to the public but you're that caveat that's there to break it uh in as gently as you can but you want to make money off of it and you don't mind telling other people's business because like i do say she has a fair point because if you don't want your stuff told keep it between you and the lord or keep it between yourself and you yourself and i woman Keep it between me, myself, and I. Okay? That's your three identities expressing yourself. So, if you can't do that, then you might get a hold of your news, maybe, in the news, if you get my drip. Hell, they can let Kermit, Kermit the Frog, host her show. Probably kitty wise but, I mean, Whitney Cummins just didn't do too hot. Not really. Rem, um, what's her name? Leah Remy didn't do good, but let the record show. I was quite entertained when Sherry Shepard did it, okay? I was quite entertained and got some chuckles on it as well. So check out my video where she goes in on Mike Hill about his cheating, allegedly. Um, but anyway, Francisca Bacardi, she wrote an article uh, on page 6 platform for the money for the money for the money okay these journalists don't just be out here just trying to crack the news they like it they love their job but they want to make money off of it 
Okay, so there's many, 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 many bloggers out there, journalists, journalists that are out there, and they are more integrative. They're more ethical about what they do put out there. So you got to give the journalists their pat on their back. Okay, but yeah, that's Miss Cummings. Um, I don't know what she really does, and that if you can kind of see, it's kind of blurred a little bit. But they came on with a panel guest that they felt would do real well, which it really didn't. Because that's not the platform that they were trying to put it on and how they wanted to talk about certain subjects. It wasn't like a political or uh, a thought-provoking conversation. Wendy's show is built on gossip, salacious gossip, private gossip, uh, entertainment. And that's why I guess she don't have those uh, real, real, real good friends. Because they don't want her to get mad at them one day and blast their secrets out for all society to know. But um, let's get on into it. Like I said, um, they're trying to look at bringing Jerry Springer. You remember him? I'm like, dog, y'all trying to bring a ring? Because he instigates. I'm like... Are we instigating now? Are we going to bring people in like cheaters and stuff of that nature and and have a mockery of Wendy's show? This was a gossip show. This wasn't like bringing your gloves, the ring and the um the ring that they, you know, fight in and the bell that sounds and then they go from each other's corners to each other to fight. And we ain't up for no fighting and putting paws on each other. We just want to have an honest conversation with stuff that's being told out there that may or may not be true. But just having a conversation about it. And putting opinions out there on how you feel. Okay. So I don't really understand what they feel they need to bring Jerry Springer on. And then the uh, guy, Michael Rappaport. The one that didn't like Kenya, that talked about her feet and all that kind of stuff. Kenya Moore from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You remember they were on Watch What Happens Live and they really didn't like each other. Nope. And to this day, they still don't like each other. And he shades Kenya every chance he get. So I would hate to think he would be up there hosting and somehow the housewives may come across his platform of discussion and he brings up Kenya's name. That would be very poor, poor choice of things. Because he might start talking about her, how she got put off um, or got excommunicated from or voted off the Dancing with the Stars. And you know she'll probably be, can y'all be done found out he talking about her and then she'll be going in there trying to defend herself instead of leaving that man alone. But hey, when they knocking at your door and you want to answer, I guess go ahead, permit yourself to um, be out there. Or uh, as to be talked about. Okay. Because you are a public figure. Can you? But yeah. Um, from what? Excuse me. Her title is reading. Meaning Francesca Bacardi brought this out today. It reads as a title. Wendy Williams off through November. Michael Rapport. Rapport. And Jerry Springer to host. <laughs> I'm like, where's the ring? Where's the referee? And and, and where are the participants? Okay. That they're going to bring out on this show and make a complete fool in themselves. Okay. From what is being written here, it says Wendy Williams will be off air for the rest of the month, which is November. And we'll continue rotating a series of guest hosts. Now to my sidebar, I'm thinking, are they really, you know, just letting her rest up? Or have they met with her behind the scenes and told her, we really just want you to just phase on out into the sunset. Let's use this opportunity to capitalize on your leaving. You know, it wouldn't be a bad thing to say, you know, you just got exhausted and just a lot of personal things you were going through and you were thinking about retiring because we weren't really going to renew your contract anyway and they're probably just easing her out politely that's what i'm thinking and they're trying to test the waters by having a panel type function for gossip news 
or or how they might spin it again or how they want a new guest to take over and it might not even be called the wendy williams show anymore it might be called the sherry shepherd show or well we don't want jerry Smig- spring because he's he too old he need to be sitting down somewhere he don't need to be involved with all this he say she say stuff but you know it could be anybody's show but i think they're really trying to phase wendy out politely uh and trying to see what other show they can put and whatever what other guests is more appealing to uh wendy's audience right now to see if they can get a maybe a different demographic uh people um or just see how the ratings would go with someone that's well known out there in the industry so that's my pun intent that's what i think is happening um and then they could start somebody off lower than what they were paying Wendy to have her own show and them benefit from that as well okay but going back to the article it says there is still no return date for Wendy Williams admit the how you doing host hiatus uh due to ongoing health issues her talk show has announced guest host for the rest of November and you might have gone plug December because why would Wendy come back for a Christmas special I think not if she's gonna rest she might well go on and rest the rest of this year and we hear some type of announcement of her retirement in February that's just my pun intended because it's cold up in New York in January so I know she didn't want to come back then but hey it's our show we'll see but going back to the article it says Michael Rappaport will fill in as the show's host for the week of November 8th and a new panel will take over for just November 15th. A rich Christmas comedian, Bill Bellamy, will then assume the position for the following two days. I have always loved being a guest on my friend Wendy Wendy's show, Bellamy 56, said in a statement released Wednesday, I am thrilled to have the opportunity to be here for her, and I look forward to working with her amazing team. At the end of that week, famed talk show host Jerry Springer will guest host with Steve Wakos. So, you know, Steve used to be over there with Jerry Spring when they had that little fight show that they were, you know, having people come on. They would have had really cheaters on their show. And they would come up and analyze and tell both sides of the story. Then they'll start bringing out people to uh, debunk their story or add on to it. And, ooh, child. That's what he was talking about. Doing DNA tests and trying to see if somebody was the dad or somebody was. You know, just jerry spring was just ratchet but um okay so steve wacos his uh sidekick uh and jerry spring gonna be hosting okay then says a rep for the wendy williams show didn't return page six inquire sixes inquiry into whether wendy will return to the purple chair before year's end while williams 57 has been focusing on her health she's battling complications from gray's disease the guest co-hosts have been scoring the show higher ratings begging the question is the show better off without its persistently plagued host she is making progress but is experiencing serious complications as a direct result of Gray's disease and her thyroid condition. A statement from the production company, Debmar Mercury, explained, it has been determined that more time is needed before she is able to return to her live hosting duties. Okay. Separate sources also divulge to page six that the delay of Williams's return has become a problem for station affiliates and advertisers. That's why I said before I start reading this lady's article that I really think they're trying to push Wendy out like they did Nene Leaks. You know, she done had years of a good run. And I don't think money is the issue. But, um, yeah, they're kind of tired of her now. And she's no John Rivers, okay? Remember when John Rivers had her little uh, comedian talk show hosting thing at night? Yeah, when they get tired of you, they get tired of you. And then with her being played with all these other alleged things with substance abuse and, you know, other illicit type allegedly paraphernalia going on they don't want to be nowhere near that 
and I think they're just trying to save face and trying to get rid of her as quick and quietly as possible. But going back to the article, it says, um, while the guest host has been or have been a boon for ratings, they haven't worked well with the audience members. Page six previously reported that the show is now paying people to sit in the studio during taping. Williams was originally scheduled to start the show 13th season on September 20th, but pushed it back several times because of her maladies, including testing positive for Ovid. Okay, she was also reportedly taken to the hospital for a mental health evaluation in September. So, only thing I can say is keep Wendy Williams in your prayers if you care to do so. Okay, I'm going to keep her in my prayers. Because I really hope she do the right thing and just retire. It's some, some people that like they can't retire. What? Why did they have retirement if you don't want to retire? I mean, come on, Wendy. I know you can do something else in your leisure. Look at Oprah. She had to finally give up her center stage. And she said she got tired. She got tired of putting on makeup. She got tired of getting dressed up. Trying to come tape a show that lasts damn near the whole night. It ain't like eight hours. Or four hours. Now, sometimes they be taping after taping after taping. Okay. So, I'm like, why do you want to keep up that grueling type of stressful work? When you can retire. Girl. This may be a sign for you to just do that. Go on into the sunset. Can't be gossiping about people your whole entire life. Till the breath go out your body girl. But that's all I have for this video guys. If y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. Don't hesitate but to click that notification bell. And you will definitely know when I drop my videos. Okay. And definitely like them and share, share, share. Share shows me you care. Okay, so make sure you share my videos. Alright, but I will see you next time. Peace out.